69 years old, married to Diane. We have three children and six grandchildren. And looking back over my life, I cannot remember a time when I was not in church. Uh, I grew up in a Christian home, uh, made a profession of faith when I was in my early teens, and a chur attended church on and off for the next 60 years. An event happened approximately 10 years ago that made me stop and reflect on where I stood as a Christian. My brother-in-law, who was 38 years old, died suddenly. And it made me stop and think, where do I stand if it were to happen to me, to, to me today? And it, I realized that I probably was not the strong Christian that I should be, not the strong Christian that Perry was. So it I began to think of a song that I had heard when I was uh, a teenager in the 1960s. The name of the song was Turn, 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 and the words come from the book of Ecclesiastes. And it starts out, there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die. That's when I realized that God has a plan for us. We don't know what our time is, but He does, and it's up to us to prepare every day to, to, for it to be a, the end of our time here on earth. We've been involved in Grace Bible Church since October of 2005. We started going to Grace soon after we moved to Oxford, and it's become our church home. It's been a blessing to us, the community, and the love shown in this church. My name is Homer Harris, and Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I grew up as an individual who was attending a, a church service each and every Sunday, and outwardly I, I looked pretty good. I looked the, like the good person, uh, the kid who was very obedient to his parents and, and obeyed my teachers, but if you would look inwardly, you would see a heart that was very prideful and self-righteous and arrogant because I felt that, uh, that I was good enough to come to God on my own merit, um, on my own good works, and, and because of that, I did not see Christ as as Savior. I didn't see my need for Him. Instead, I said, you know what, God, since I'm a good person, let me run my life. Let me handle it. So you saw a lot of picking and choosing of what I wanted to follow, and you did not see humility in, in a life that was surrendered to the Lord Jesus. Um, I came to know the Lord uh, sometime after my freshman year at Ole Miss. Um, I think really as I look back, the Lord used a, a lot of, uh, of people and, and of instances to really draw me unto Himself. Um, I'm grateful for uh, individuals that I met uh, at campus and even people before that, uh, pastors and, and teachers who, who, who ministered to me um, before I was a believer. And I, I just feel like God used all of that to really lead me to the place where I, where I saw my need for Christ as Savior. And, and it happened sometime after my freshman year. All I know is that I went back home that summer a different person that, than, which I, would, than, which, than who came to uh, the University of Mississippi. I've been a member at Grace Bible Church for uh, going on four years now. Um, I came as, a, as an intern. Um, I'm grateful for uh, Grace because it has, over the years, provided me with a place of, uh, of community, a place where I can be encouraged and, and I can learn and be corrected by, by a group of believers. And also, personally, uh, Grace has been a, a platform and a place for me to really grow um, as a minister and to use my gifts and to really cultivate them. Uh, for, the, for the use of, of the Lord. My name is Stephen Taylor, and Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior.